we're on Proverbs chapter 2. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of an evil man, from the man that speaketh froward things, who leaveth the path of right, uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they are froward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God, for her house inclineth unto death and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the path of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of righteousness. Three people that we ought, two people we ought not to fellowship with and one person we ought to. The Bible says that discretion will keep you from fellowshipping with the wrong people. It's amazing to me how many Christians uh, won't let somebody in their house uh, to commit an evil act or unspeakable thing, but they'll watch it on television. And it's implied, the language is vulgar, uh, using God's name in vain, but will allow that deceptive man or deceptive woman to come into our heart, in our house, because they call it entertainment. It's not. We need to be wise concerning that. Uh, I'm Preachers have said for years, what you allow in moderation, your children will do in excess. Have you ever wondered why uh, people that are faithful to church and seemingly have a good Christian life, that their kids go bad and their grandkids are even worse? This is exactly why. It's because they're not being obedient to Proverbs chapter 2. I understand it's hard to come by uh, a good influences and good people, people that are scripturally living, but we can do it. We can find it, and we definitely can avoid uh, the evil influences. Many years ago, a story was told about a young man that was in a youth group, and he was hanging around the wrong group, and the pastor, the youth pastor, told him, don't hang around those guys. They're a bad influence. He ignored the advice of some good men so he could get the attention of some bad women and hung around those bad friends. And one night they came by and said, hey, take a ride with us. He jumped in the car. They went by this girl's house and started yelling expletives. And the dad stepped out from behind the house and fired a rifle into that car. The two bad kids didn't get it. Unfortunately, the kid that was hanging around the bad influences died. What a tragedy. But what a tragedy is even greater that we allow our children and the people we influence to die spiritually because we want to have a few of these uh, things in our life. Christians, ladies, I, I want to speak to you for a minute today. Christian woman has no business reading these filthy, rotten love novels and watching soap operas. Christian men, you got no business watching these violent movies where they use God's name in vain and playing these violent video games. Genesis chapter 6 says that God destroyed man in the flood because their thoughts were evil and it was only violent continually. Boy, if God's people aren't clean, how wicked is the world we live in today? Now, I believe there's great hope if we'll take a hold of these principles taught in Proverbs chapter 2 and decide, hey, I'm going to biblically examine what influences my life. The entertainment, TV, Facebook, all of the things I read there, the books I read, the people that influence me, influence me. Jeremiah said, I will get me unto the great men who have known the ways of the Lord. Boy, get to some of the great men. Read some great autobiographies. If you need a list, email me. I'll send you a good list. 
Let's get the right influences into our home. Why? Because we want to have a good relationship with God, and we want our children to have a good relationship with God. God bless you, and have a great day.